Aaron Gaia with Innovative Results, and I'm bringing you the IR Coaches Fire, where I'm going to light myself on fire with passion to hopefully let that be contagious and light you on fire as well, or at least give you some new perspective and opportunity to make the next one the best one. So we talk about next one, best one all the time here. So we spend an hour here when we, when we train, when we do our training session. And if you're good, then you come a little bit early and do your rollout and stuff. Then you leave a little bit late because you roll out and then you shower and whatever. Um, but an hour's worth of training with your coach. And this is an opportunity for us to pour our passion into you and help you just become a little bit better. Whether it's feel better, whether it's look better, whether it's move better, you know, that's increasing your lean body mass and losing that body fat. But in order to do that, the hours that we spend away from here, the 165, 4, 3, 2, whatever it might be, those need to be on point two. We got to have the next meal, our best meal, the next night's sleep, our best night's sleep, the next chance for hydration during the day, our best chance for hydration, um, and the next opportunity to reduce our stress, the best opportunity to reduce our stress. We're managing our stress through deep breathing, prayer, church, friends, uh, accountability partners, whatever it might be where we're eating 80 to 90% of our foods as whole natural foods. If man made it, we'll run the other way. If God made it, eat it. Um, and then if we're hydrating, it's half our body weight in ounces. And if we're sleeping, we're trying to get to that seven and a half hour minimum. But I wanna talk to you about ways to look at negative situations in our life. So I bring to you the negative symbol. So we talked about turning that into a building block, turning that into a smile. That's an opportunity to make a positive, right? And we have that opportunity every single time a negative comes up. Let me give you another one. This is the gap between when I was born and when I'm going to die. We all have that. Right, so instead of looking at our negatives, at our challenges as ho-hums or, oh, I'm down, I'm depressed, oh, this is gonna suck, oh, this is gonna make me a worse person, oh, I failed, oh, look at, look at the negatives as challenges, as opportunities to be remembered as the person that you wanna be remembered as. Like every single challenge that we face, we can look at it as a challenge that's going to crush us and leave us wasted, or we can look at it as a challenge. How am I gonna act in this challenge to be the person that I wanna be remembered as? Like, is the person that you wanna be remembered as the person that ho-hums every time they are confronted with a negative, every time they're confronted with a challenge? Absolutely not, I know that's not true with anybody. We all wanna be remembered and create a legacy that's not negative. So take the negative and think about, turn that into a dash and turn it into the part of your life that you will be talked about, remembered, and, and will be your legacy. When you start viewing it that way, negatives quickly become opportunities. Negatives quickly become challenges that you can bust through and be the person that you envision yourself to be that when you die and it's written on your epitaph where people are talking about you, they're talking about you in a certain way. And I guarantee they're not talking about you in a negative way. You have an opportunity to make the next one the best one. And I'm saying the next part of your life you've lived up to this point, you can make the next part of your life the best one by making the next hour the best hour, by making the next opportunity, the next, next moment, the next one the best one. This is Aaron Guyette with Innovative Results, and this is the IR Coaches Fire, where I'm hoping to light you on fire.